You think there will ever be peace between Israel and those other countries? Yes. I believe. We must believe that there will be peace someday. When will that be? When? Well, I can tell you. When the Arabs love their children more than they hate us, that's when peace will come. Some of these people, maybe a lot of them, are just not interested in Palestine. And all of them are sick and tired of hearing how badly we need money. Well, frankly, they're under pressure to raise funds for institutions in America. Jewish hospitals, Jewish charities all over the country, they need money too. It might be better if you didn't address this group, Mrs. Marston. Wait. I'm going to set up a more favorable audience. No, I have to get through to these people. Well, then, it might be a good idea if you let me take a look at your speech. I haven't prepared a speech. You mean you don't know what you're going to say? I'll know when the time comes to say it. Please believe me when I tell you I did not come to the United States only because 700,000 Jews are in danger of being killed. That is not the issue. The issue is that if the Jews of Palestine survive, then the Jews of the world survive with them. And their freedom will be assured forever. But if these 700,000 are wiped off the face of the earth, then there'll be no Jewish people as such. And for centuries to come, all our hopes and dreams of a Jewish nation, a Jewish homeland, will be smashed. My friends, when I say that we need money immediately, I don't mean next week. I mean right now. In less than four months, we'll be fighting for our lives against cannon and arm. It is not for you to decide whether we'll fight. That decision is taken. We will fight. We'll pay for the birth of our nation with our blood. That is normal. The best of us will fall, that is certain. There is only one thing for you to decide. Whether we'll win or we'll lose. $25 million. She raised 50. The money went directly to the capitals of the world where Ben Gurion had sent agents to purchase arms for the Havana. And in a converted museum, one day before the scheduled pullout and historic event. Exiles from the land of Israel. The Jewish people have returned, believing in their self evident right to be a nation like all other nations, in their own sovereign state. I imagine every people that declares its independence goes through difficulties. But for us, there was such deadly danger that some of our friends strongly advised us not to proclaim independence. But we were determined to do it anyway. By virtue of this right, and of the resolution of the General Assembly of the United Nations, we hereby proclaim the establishment of the Jewish state in Palestine to be called 